ESB International is a world-leading engineering consultancy firm. Over the past 45 years, we've operated in over 120 countries, including the Middle East, Africa and Asia. We operate in all areas of the energy sector, including transmission and distribution, thermal and renewable generation, emerging energy technologies, energy markets and trading, uh, and regulations. We offer a full suite of engineering services, including consultancy, design, project management, owner's engineer, buyer's engineer, operation and maintenance services, renewable interconnection, power system studies, utility transformative services, and strategic policy development. ESB Group are a vertically integrated electricity utility operating on the island of Ireland and parts of the UK, partly owned by the Irish government. In Ireland, ESB are the owner-operator of the distribution system uh, and the owner of the transmission system. In Ireland and the UK, we also operate as power generation and supply. As a power generator, we operate a diverse portfolio of technologies, including thermal, gas and coal, as well as renewables, wind and solar, hydro and new emerging technologies such as battery storage. In addition, ESB is committed to helping Ireland realise its decarbonisation goals and supporting the electrification of various sectors. We're also a leading energy services provider where we provide a wide range of energy efficiency and decarbonisation solutions and services for a multitude of customers uh, in Ireland and the UK. Ireland is quite an interesting place electrically. As an island that's very weakly interconnected to the rest of Europe, we actually have quite a lot of wind resources. We have approximately 5.5 gigawatts of wind generation and an increasing amount of solar generation uh, to match a demand peak of approximately 6.5 gigawatts. Coupled with an ambition to reduce our thermal capacity has resulted in a power system that has the capacity to operate off 70% uh, non-synchronous generation. Managing such a system is quite challenging with issues such as frequency, volatility and intermittency. While Ireland is facing these challenges today, as the global penetration of renewables continues to increase, it becomes increasingly likely that other power systems wishing to adopt the same level of widespread renewables will come across the same challenges. ESB, as the Irish utility, has been at the coal face of addressing these emerging energy challenges and ESB International are bringing those learnings to our customers worldwide. The overall goal of energy efficiency is to determine how and when we use energy. We're achieving this by identifying where energy is used and determining processes to reduce the amount of energy wasted. In other words, using the minimum amount of energy required to produce the same level of comfort and service. These energy efficiency savings can vary both in size and complexity and can be as simple as a behavioural change, such as switching off a light in an unoccupied room, or to more complex changes, such as deep retrofitting of existing plant and processes with more energy efficient solutions, such as building management systems, uh, LED lighting and sensors, uh, or even things like battery storage and energy recovery systems. Energy efficiency can play an important role in decarbonisation. By utilising energy efficiency, we reduce the power requirements of a system down to its base energy requirements. This prevents the need for additional surplus generation, which traditionally would have come from fossil fuel generation. By reducing the kilowatt hours of demand required, while simultaneously increasing the kilowatt hours generated from renewables, leads to a compounding effect on the overall carbon reduction. Once we've established the base energy requirements, the next step is to introduce the concept of flexibility. Flexibility is the shifting of consumption from one period or to another to produce a net benefit. For example, using less energy during periods when the grid's strained and more when the grid is less congested, or utilizing more energy when renewables are generating versus when they're not generating. By doing this, we create a system that increases our consumption of renewable generation by reducing our reliance on thermal generation while preventing issues on the grid like congestion and reducing the requirement for costly upgrade works. Unlocking flexibility can also present opportunities to participate in new and emerging ancillary service markets uh, through technologies such as demand side management schemes or battery storage. These can provide financial incentives to unlocking how our energy is used. The entire energy ecosystem can benefit out of making these changes. Consumers can benefit from a, a decrease in their overall energy costs. This is 
very important, especially with the, uh, you know, the, the phasing out of certain subsidies and the introduction of cost reflective tariff to regions. While system operators can benefit from a decrease in the overall demand, uh, reducing stress on the grid during peak periods and preventing the need for costly upgrades. Developers and generators can also benefit from the system's ability to increase the amount of renewables on it, um, as well as access to various other markets, uh, such as the ancillary service markets and other financial incentives. And overall, society benefits from a, a decrease in our reliance on fossil fuels and a decrease in the level of atmospheric carbon. So the first step is to introduce behavioural changes. Um, this is done by gaining a better understanding of how we use the energy and developing a structured approach to better managing how that energy is handled. For our customers, we leverage years of energy knowledge um, as well as data analytics to identify trends and opportunities to save energy. So the next step then is to unlock flexibility. This can be achieved through a variety of technology solutions, including demand side management or battery energy storage. We've invested heavily in battery energy storage in Ireland and the UK to stabilise the grid and to unlock customer flexibility. We are also an active player in demand response, helping our customers to unlock additional revenue from their flexibility. Finally, increasing renewable generation. ESB International have extensive experience in renewables and their integration. We take a utility approach to meeting the challenges of increased renewable generation and provide end-to-end -end services to our customers from connection through to operations. In order to decarbonize society, we don't just stop at the delivery of kilowatt hours. ESB also actively support the electrification of other carbon intensive sectors. This includes supporting the replacement of combustion engine vehicles with more efficient electric vehicles. ESP has championed this in Ireland as the owner operator of the entire EV public charging system, as well as the UK in cities such as London and Birmingham. Further, electrification of heating and cooling can help to reduce other carbon intensive sectors, such as the agriculture sector. Supporting the sustainability of food initiatives by providing cleaner alternatives for agricultural heating, like the ESB Greenhouse Project, which utilises waste heat recovery to support sustainable farming in the UK. ESB and ESB International are leading the transition to a low carbon future. We are excited to leverage our vast expertise to support our customers in achieving their decarbonisation goals.